Hello, today is Wednesday, September 30th, and we started off with math. So get your chapter two math book out and turn to page 85. So in the past, we have worked on tally charts. We have created frequency tables. We have read, learned how to read picture graphs and create picture graphs. We learned how to read bar graphs and create bar graphs. Now we're working on word problems with bar graphs. So this is just follows along with cubes. It's just more practice. To start off, I always like for students to write the numbers, no matter what graph it is, unless it's a frequency chart. Frequency charts already have numbers. So a student asked me why, and the reason is when you already find out how much each is worth, then when you go to your questions, it will go super quick because you already have a lot of the answers already written. So for books, we have six. It'll go down, there's six. Health, there's eight. Computers, 10. Space is three, because we are skip counting by twos. So what is in between two and four? Three, All right? So then we go to our question. Derek's class voted on a topic for the school bulletin board. That's why it says votes for school bulletin board topic. The bar graph shows the results. Here are our results. And now here's our questions. Question, how many more votes did computers receive than space? We have to do our cubes. First, you always underline the question. That's what we did. Then you jump up to circle the key numbers. We don't have numbers, but our categories that we learned are on the side of your bar graph. So computers and space. So we circle computers and space. Then we go into the bar graph. Oh, how many chose computers? 10, so I wrote 10 and circled it. How many chose space? Three, and then you circle it. So then we checked off circle the key numbers. Then we box our math verbs. You have than, than means subtract. We boxed it. Now we need to evaluate, create a math problem. So we are gonna subtract these two. So we get 10 subtract, three is seven. Seven what? Seven more votes. So there are seven more people who voted for computers than space. And then S, we solved it, I forgot to check it off. Another way you could do it. This is a different way. You can start at the greatest number and we know our scale is two. So we can skip count by twos until we get to space. So two, four, six, and now we only add one, seven. That gives us seven votes. If you wanna try page 86, go ahead. There's a lot of red on this. They don't really give you much space to do anything. So let me explain everything first. We jump to our bar graph. Our title is Cans of Food Collected. So we know it's the days of the week, so it says days. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Our number of cans, our scale is four. We know this because you look at zero, what is our next number? Four. So we know we're skip counting by fours. That is our scale. So when we go straight to Tuesday, I don't know. It's in between 12 and 16. So what's in the smack middle, right of the middle between 12 and 16? That's why I wrote it down here, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 14 is in the middle. We have two numbers on the left, two numbers on the right. So 14 is Tuesday. We go to Wednesday, we go down, we have 16. We go to Thursday all the way across, we go down, we have 24. Friday we go across, uh-oh, we're in the middle again. So what number is in the middle of 24 and 28? That's why I wrote it down here. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, it's 26, because there's two on, numbers on the right and two numbers on the left. So that's why we wrote 26. Now we can actually read our question. Brooks School Collected Cans of Food. The bar graph at the right shows the numbers of cans. Well, we figured that out. How many fewer cans were collected on Tuesday than on Thursday and Friday combined? Oh my gosh, that's gonna give me a headache. So many words. That's why we use cubes to help us. The first thing is underline the question. We jump to you. 
we underlined how many fewer cans were collected on Tuesday than on Thursday and Friday combined. Now we need to circle our key numbers. There are no numbers, but again, our categories are days of the week. So let's see and circle all our days of the week. So we circled Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now we need to actually label, well, how many were Tuesday? 14, we circled it. How many Thursday? 24, we circled it, and Friday, 26, and circled it. So then we have circled our key numbers. Next is box the math verbs. There are a few, there's a lot. We have fewer, than, and, and combined. And is a math verb when it's in between two categories, and our categories are days of the week. So this and is considered a math verb. When you see combined or and, we have combined and and, you add. When you see than or fewer, than or fewer, you subtract. You always add first, and this math problem is telling you that. So step one, find the total for Thursday and Friday, for Thursday and Friday. So you're gonna add our two numbers, 24 plus 26, and I showed my work right here. Four plus six is 10, drop the zero, carry the one. One plus two is three, plus two is five. So 50 cans were collected on Thursday and Friday. Now it's, it's a two step, so now you have to go to the next step. Step two, subtract to compare the total for Thursday and Friday to Tuesday and find the difference. That's a lot of words. That's why if we look up here, we know, all right, we added those two, now we need to subtract. From 14 we have one number left so we're gonna subtract 50 subtract 14 I did it right here it was 36 36 fewer cans therefore so 36 fewer cans were collected on Tuesday and on Thursday and Friday combined now the bottom we have spinner results so we did something like this yesterday where they spun the spinner. Blue landed 20 times. Green landed in between 30 and 40. We're skip counting by tens, because zero to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. What's in between 30 and 40? 35 is our middle number. Our red is 40, and purple landed 20 times. So now, how many more times did the pointer stop on green than on purple? The whole thing is our question. Now we need to circle our key numbers. Our categories are colors. So we need to circle our colors, green and purple. So we circled them. Now we need to find the number. Green is 35, purple, oops, purple is 20. We need to, so we check that off. We need to box our math verbs. Our only math verb is than. Than means to subtract. So we're going to evaluate and create a math problem. So we're gonna subtract 35 from 20. And then we're gonna solve 35 subtract 20 is 15. 15 what? 15 more times. Check. Number two, how many fewer times did the pointer stop on blue than on red and green combined? Wow, it's a lot of words. So we need to underline the question. Well, the whole problem is the question, so you won't need to do that. Circle the key numbers. We know we're looking at colors, so we need to circle the colors. Blue, red, green. Now we need to determine what the key numbers are. So blue is 20, circle it. Red is 40, and green is 35. I crossed it out, you'll see why. All right. So we circled our math verbs. Now we need a box. Oh, I'm sorry, we circled our key numbers. Now we need to box our math verbs. We have fewer, than, and combined. Fewer and than means to subtract, we know this. And and combined means to add, we know this. Remember you always add first, always add first. So, and is in between 40 and 35. So those are the two numbers we're gonna add. That gives us 75. We're not done though. Now we need to do the second step. Now we need to subtract. I cross these out because we already did our math with these numbers. What we have left is 20. So now we're gonna subtract 70, subtract 
20, which gives us 55, 55 fewer times. If you want to try on page 87, number four and five, go ahead. First step, just like always, we're going to label our numbers, so animate it. We are skip counting by two, so our scale is two because it goes from zero to two. What is in between 12 and 14? 13 is because it goes 12, 13, 14. So animated is 13. Comedy, we go up, is 12. Drama is two. And then our action is in between six and eight. What's in between six and eight? Seven. Now let's solve our problem. Diego has five fewer of this kind of DVD than comedy. Which kind of DVD is this? We don't know the DVD. Excuse me. We need to find it out. Cubes, underline the question. Which kind of DVD is this? Circle the key numbers. Well, five, we need to use five. Comedy is one of our categories, so we need to circle it and then find out how many is comedy. Twelve. Then we need to box the math verbs. Fewer and than. Fewer and than means to subtract. So to evaluate, we are going to subtract 12 and from or 5 from 12. So 12 subtract 5 is 7. It's not asking the number. It's saying which DVD is 5 fewer. So here's 7 for action. So action is our answer. Number 5. Is the number of comedy and action DVDs greater than or less than the number of animated and drama DVDs? Our explanation will be our writing. This is a lot of words. So, then, I'm going to cross off and tell you why after. The entire problem is our question, so we don't need to underline. Our circle, our, our key numbers, our categories are kinds of DVDs. So we have comedy we circled, action, animated, and drama. How many is comedy? 12. Action, 7. Animated, 13. And drama is 2. So we circle all those numbers, check it off. Box the math verb. We have and and and. Th these two thans don't work because you're finding out if these two put together, these two put together, you're looking at greater than or less than. And remember when we worked on these, greater or less than, this is less than, this is greater than. So you're not gonna subtract. What you're gonna do is add comedy and action. 12 plus seven is 19. Then you're gonna add animated and drama, because there's the and. So 13 plus two is 15. Now it's saying, is comedy and action a greater number than 15? Or is 19 a, a smaller number than 15, less than. And it's greater. So comedy and action, more people want it, or he has more comedy and action videos than he does animated and drama. So that's where the greater than comes from. Oh, excuse me. Now is homework. Homework is page 88A. So all of it, the entire page. Of lesson 2.6 but the back 88 B you can cross out the bottom four but I want you to do the top two all right then pull out your your turn practice book and turn to page 21 we're working on vocabulary So use a word from the box to answer each question. Then use the word in a sentence. The use the word in a sentence is your homework. So the first one's completely done. The rest, we have only done half of it. So what is another word for afraid? Out of all our vocabulary words are new ones. Another word for afraid is scared. So in your sentence, you are going to use the vocabulary word scared, not afraid. So I'm scared to ride my bike. You need at least six words. So we have one, two. Three, four, five, six. Perfect. Number two. 
What word can describe a friend who sits next to you at school? Classmate. So a classmate is someone that is in your same class at school. Now you need to write a sentence using classmate. What is another word for give? Contribute. Contribute means to give either your time or money to something. So you can contribute to a charity, you can give your money to a charity, or you can contribute your time to a charity, like help out the charity. So now you need to write a sentence with contribute. Number four, what helps people get better at doing something? Practicing. And that's actually our definition. So when you do something, you keep doing it, you keep doing it, and you get better at it. So when you practice reading, you're getting better at it. You need to write a sentence for practicing. What word means say the sound of? Pronounce. So maybe there is a word that's difficult for you to say, like synonym or cinnamon. Those are hard words for some people to pronounce. It's hard for them to say the sound of the words. So we need a sentence of pronounce. What word describes a place where people live and work together? Community. So Bakersfield is a community. We live here. We all live here. Our parents work here. So we are a community. So I need you to write a sentence with community. What word means thinks well of? Admires. So when you think about, when you think of someone being good, you look up to someone, you can even admire an object. Like I admire the way that my students are working hard. So I'm thinking very well of my students. I'm thinking good things about them. So I need a sentence for admires. And then eight, what happened to the fruit when it fell out and rolled to the ground? Tumbled. When something falls or rolls, it is tumbled. So I need a sentence. You can change the ending of your words. You can say tumbling, communities, admired, pronounces. Okay, you could change the ending of the words in your sentence. That's okay. All right, that's part of your homework, finishing that. And then I did read part of our new story, Gary the Dreamer, but I'm going to show you where to find it because we didn't finish it. So you might as well read it all. Um, and you can have it read to you. So it is in your Wonders portal. So I will show you where to find that. All right. Now on your waffle, because you're logged in, you click your waffle. You scroll all the way down and you'll see McGraw Hill. So this is your Wonders portal where you went on last Friday to do some assignments. All right. It should say, you might just, I think you just have this area. So you'll click the student edition, third grade. It will be in your to-do. I can't see it because I'm the teacher. For some reason, it doesn't show me. But you will click it and it will say Gary the Dreamer and I want you to read it or have it read to you. If it's not here, maybe it'll pop up and read down here. But it'll be in one of the two places. All right, and that is your homework. I sent a video to Parent Square, and also um, it is on my YouTube channel of all the assignments that are due tomorrow at pickup from 1230 to 2 o'clock. So if you want to please check that out. Also on the Canvas homepage on Friday or on Thursday, I wrote all the page numbers that need to be completed. All right, thank you.